Hi, and welcome to the Thomas Spencer Fine Art YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we clean and conserve a print ready for sale. This will include the removal of surface dirt, washing the work to remove any foxing or discoloration, and then finally pressing it. So here are the tools that I used. I used a hard plastic eraser, a slightly smaller plastic eraser with sharper edges to get into the hard to get areas, a large brush, and also a slightly smaller brush with softer bristles. So let's just have a look at the areas of surface dirt and discoloration. If we just pause there, you can see that I've erased a small section to show you how dirty it really is. This line along here was probably caused by an acidic mount. You can see that this goes all the way up around the edges of the print as well. To the left hand side, you can see how the paper has been discolored from behind the mount. The edges of the paper as well have some discoloration and that should come out when it's washed. So now I'm going to give it a quick go over with the eraser. So if we have a look now at this first go over, you'll see that it's got off most of the surface dirt apart from the areas very close to the letters camel core, which I will need to be a bit more precise and use the smaller eraser to get in there. The line of discoloration caused by the mount still exists. This should be able to be washed out, however. We can still see that there's a large foxing spot there. There are some impurities as well in the paper. These should be able to be washed out however later on. I'm going to need to be very careful around this graphite area so that I don't accidentally rub out the fact that he has titled the print. And now here's a look at the print after two goes over with the rubber and you can see that a lot of the surface dirt has been removed but you can still see that there are those areas of discoloration. I did manage to get in between all the letters luckily. The line still exists however. So now the print will be submerged in this water for between 45 minutes to an hour on the first wash and I'm now going to press very gently and carefully the print so that it is fully submerged underneath the water. To do this very carefully takes quite a long time so I've sped up the clip. You don't want to be too forceful pushing it under the water especially when the print is dry and is just meeting the water. just to check that it's just underneath the water. The next step is drying the work in direct sunlight. So here I have a table set up with clean blotting paper underneath it and the work will then sit there to dry. This is the work being left to dry in the sun 
and the sunlight will naturally help lighten the paper and remove the impurities. So here it is after just one wash, you can already see there's a noted difference in the discoloration. It's nowhere near perfect and it's going to require a lot more washes to get rid of these uh, lines, for example. But it is reduced. You can see the benefit of just one wash. The work was then washed a further 12 times and then left to dry in direct sunlight. And as we can see, after 12 washes, the discoloration, boxing and impurities have been removed. And now let's have a look at the work once it has been pressed. So after being pressed, there are no creases or kinks and you can see that the print is lying absolutely flat. This hasn't got rid of the plate mark, however, as you can still see, there is an indent where the plate has gone into the paper, as it should be. You wouldn't want to press this out. And the paper is looking in very good condition, clean, free of impurities. And this was all done without any chemicals, just using water and sunlight.